Today we're making a simple goulash. This has been a favorite for decades because it's so easy to make. You can actually make this in a slow cooker if you want to. I just make it on the stove and just cook it for two or three hours. We need meat. I'm usually using about two parts of beef and one part of pork, a kind of a fatty pork, like a pork shoulder. I'm using the same amount of meat in chopped onions. Yes, that seems like an excessive amount of onions, but trust me, this is what makes the sauce really nice. Then we need some uh, tomato paste, some garlic, a little bit of flour to bind it, and a whole bunch of paprika powder. To get the goulash started, I'm using clarified butter. I like that kind of fat. Of course, you can use any oil or anything that you can heat up really high. And I'm probably gonna do this in little batches, just to make sure that we are browning the meat and not boiling the meat. Ah, goes in one. Spread it out, let it sit. Do not stir yet. If you stir too early, you will cool down your pot and that just seeps all the water out of the meat. Stir once more, let's sit again. Could use a little extra fat. Okay, so all of this is slightly browned. You can brown it more, it doesn't have to be browned more. So this is good. Now you want to add your onions. This is a lot of onions and we just dumped them in. This will definitely take the heat out of your pot, but that's okay. Give this a good pinch of salt. So, as you can see, we are back at temperature. No, this isn't burned in. This is actually the flavor we want. Now we're going to add a bunch of tomato paste. And we want to roast that tomato paste for a little. Now add some flour. This is about a tablespoon worth. Work that in a little. It will get sticky now. I'm adding some garlic. Of course you can leave that out if you don't like garlic, but I highly recommend you put some in. Time to pour in some water. I used boiling water, so it's immediately hot. Cold water or cold broth will do the trick. Since I didn't have any broth at hand, I'm just using a ready-made broth here. Add a little bit of that. Maybe a little bit more water. Now we're just going to add a bunch of paprika powder. There. This is all we have to do for now. We just let this simmer on a very low simmer for, let's say, two hours. Put a lid on, turn the heat down to like a medium low, so just that it bubbles away and doesn't burn. Check in on it every like 10 or 15 minutes to make sure it doesn't get too hot so stuff doesn't stick. You may have to add a little bit more water along the way, but this is essentially pretty much hands off from here on. About an hour has passed. Let's see how we're doing. Excellent. Let's give this another hour and it's done. It's been a little bit over two hours. Let's see what it looks like. Do a little taste test. Perfect. Serve that over some rice or some egg noodles. Add a little dollop of sour cream and you have a perfect dinner. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.